Victor Von Klaus, your favorite snowboard expert from Curated.com. Today we're here in beautiful Powder Mountain in Utah, riding the GNU Money in the 152. Just so you guys know, I'm not sponsored or endorsed by any of these brands. This is just my direct scoop from taking the board out today and giving the info directly to you at home. GNU claims that this board is for that all mountain park rider. This board slays in the park and really turns the whole resort into the park. It's really poppy and really fun to ride. I like it a lot. I am not necessarily a park or freestyle only rider, but I felt like this board was really awesome because it was playful enough for me to feel really confident doing freestyle moves while still riding really hard snow. Oh, I liked it. It was a, it's a fun board. Definitely is your little more park dominant board out of Guinea's lineup, but certainly is your, your resort ripper too. It's been railing the groomers. The magnet traction on this guy is just as proper as anything in Mervyn's lineup. So edge hold was never any kind of an issue. If you want help finding the right board for you, reach out to me on Curated and I will help you get set up. My overall impression on this board is it was super fun. Uh, definitely was very jibby, pressy, you know, wanted to go play around, but even took it through some chundery stuff today now that we've got a little bit fresher snow. Put the landing gear down and harder stuff on takeoffs and stuff that was uncertain and it, it would still power through it. So definitely it can go outside the park and be a, a little bit more aggressive than your typical more park dominant all mountain board. The C2 profile means you gotta get a little bit more rocker here in between your bindings but then at your inserts, you definitely get pockets of camber. I could definitely suggest a higher end beginner to even like a pretty well seasoned intermediate and well into advanced rider, especially if you're looking for that kind of park focused, but do it all resort board. This is gonna be a great option. Even your rad dad could have fun with this. The magnet traction is gonna keep you, keep you solid out on the groomers and anywhere where it's pretty mellow riding. I felt this board was really lightweight. And especially as a female rider on this male board, I was really impressed by how responsive it was. I also really was impressed with the flex. It was soft enough to be really fun around the whole mountain, but because of the edge tech on this board, I felt really confident going in carvers, going in variable terrain, anything like that. This profile has got a little bit bigger nose, so it's gonna give you some more flow in the powder. And that's what's so great about this board is it is more freestyle oriented, but on good snow days and powder days and really all mountain riding, this board will be able to handle it. This is ideal for intermediate riders two advanced park riders that enjoy riding in the park, but also like to send it all over the mountain. This board will go with you and will be flexy enough to throw some really cool stuff. Snowboards work different for different types of riders. If you wanna know the best board for your type of riding, reach out to me or any of the curated experts and we will hook you up. If you're digging this awesome content that we're putting out, don't worry, we're gonna be putting out a lot more. So go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button right now so you don't miss out on any more. Keep updated and see what all of us experts are doing out here on the mountains.